Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Back at you with another AAR on scenario nine. A bit salient. Did I got that one right? Uh... I think it does. Eight, I think. Ah, there you go. Scenario eight. Well, uh, it's written right check, here. Check the sheet here. Pretty sure it's eight. It's the, eight. Uh, um, scroll, 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 scroll. Eight, the beach salient. The heat wave is getting to me. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay, All right. Beach salient, right. So in, in this scenario, who went first? Uh, see, the uh, Germans set up first, the Americans set up, uh, set up and move, set up second, moved first, I think. Okay, yeah. so think you, so. you go first and tell us what My you're... general concept yeah. on this one was to play it like the Americans actually would have. They were supposed to be trying to take this hill, clear the Germans out of here to close a pocket. So I set up a fire base and an assault team to try and take the hill, um, figuring that a, that would get that wouldn't it would pre prevent him just playing like shooting fish in a barrel if I had set up like Custer at Little Bighorn, and uh, give him more to worry give give you uh, more to worry about than uh, than just setting up to encircle the poor guys that you were going to slaughter. Um, it worked out fairly well. Uh, the fire base did its job. The assault team <laughs> did its job until they. Till, well, as we'll see, you know, get uh, mowed down in droves. But uh, yeah, it started out uh, pretty good. Let's see, we're starting out here with the uh, rally yeah. phase, the radios, got radio contact. Uh, let's see. Uh, and uh, let's see, okay, the Germans got their radio contact also. I, don't, I didn't have uh, artillery yet. The Germans determined theirs, 80 millimeter, and of course he gets four, of course you got four fire modules. Um, you, never, you don't have, you never seem to be short for artillery. Uh, okay, and yep, there goes the artillery request. Good. Yeah, there was some question about. Uh, okay, so here's the here's the fire base trying to soften up the target for the uh, uh, for the assault team. Now in this hex here, I have two. Uh, Two, uh, we were, I was limited to one squad per hex, and but there was no limitation on um, support weapons. So I put both of my heavy machine guns in this hex, uh, giving me a 16 firepower factors with a minus two leader at whatever I wanted to shoot at and try and destroy. I figured that was going to be necessary to take care of the entrenchments on the hill. As it turned out, it worked pretty good. I also figured that that was going to be the only thing I was going to have to really try and keep the... Uh, half tracks at any distance and again <laughs> that worked out too for a while on uh, my end i was very disappointed with my initial setup i have no idea why i put the germans all in three little hexes um i had um i had second thoughts about that and the wisdom of doing that uh perhaps setting them up in lower level hexes and trying to cover a, a wider area with my MGs would have been wiser. Yeah, your overall scheme, especially with the uh, reinforcements, seemed to be to set up to block my uh, my reinforcements coming in on turn five. And while I, I can't see, see the point of that, as gamey as that is, <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see the point of that. But in, if that were really your intent, I think I would have set your guys up on the, the, the level two hills on the back, uh, mm -hmm. on, on, on the south side, to make sure you had that whole entry edge set up and for, basically force me to come over the ridge to try and get you and shoot me as I came over the top. But, but you know, that's, hindsight's twenty twenty. Yep. Uh, all right, so here's my 50s opening up on his big stack with, I think this is the guy with, the, yeah, it's the guy with the radio and the medium machine gun, two squads, everything set up there. That's the big Death Star in this game. So I'm going to shoot at him with, uh, let's see, was it 16 even, right? And roll a seven. Actually, my rolling for shooting wasn't too bad. Two morale check. And he failed that. Um, you know, that was kind of pretty much, uh, one down. Those guys were all broken. And then, uh, the other group, the other, all of my medium machine guns were set up with line, lines of sight to, uh, 
to the top of the hill as well. And I'm going for the double breaks here because the whole point of the game is to try and kill the enemy. Uh, no morale checks. Passes and fails. So I killed two units right off the bat there. Another prep fire. Hits again. Yeah, no complaints about die rolling so far. Uh, and he and you're failing morale checks, which is something that you don't do later in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, so at this point, we've got... Uh, let's see. Now everybody up there is still good, yeah, except for the first one I took out with the. Uh, let's see. Okay, movement. Yep. Here goes the assault team trying to move up on to try and take the uh, ridge from the Germans. What well, I'm trying. My goal here is to basically take the ridge so that I can clear that southeastern side of the board and get my get uh, the reinforcements in. Where actually, I mean, I shouldn't be anticipating reinforcements. I shouldn't be, I, guess I don't, I don't know about the counterattack at this point. I'm just trying to take the hill at this point. I was surprised you didn't bring any anti-tank weapons with you. Um, I didn't think I'd need the anti-tank weapons on the hill. I was more concerned with the half-tracks trying to take out my fire base. Okay. And besides, the the, uh, the bazookas are worthless against your stu. Mm. Uh, they they the only the only thing they have a chance of killing a reasonable chance of killing is a, is a hat track. <laughs> They're not going to do squat against the stu. I need a what like a four uh, four or less or three or less to kill a, a stu. And then first, and first I have to hit it. Okay, now we have defensive fire back, which was. Uh, not too bad. Okay, you're firing and getting results. Okay, broke him. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, uh, and broke everybody in that hex. That that <laughs> that fire base was was problematic for the rest of the game. I I never really got that one functioning. And I failed to exploit it. I failed to exploit that flank, that weak flank, properly. phase here again they move it's still moving towards trying to take the uh, uh, the ridge I can put another squad in with the 250s uh, because with one squad you could only fire the 250s you couldn't use the squad with two squads you could use a squad the two squads and the 250s and raise it up another level on the chart within 12 hexes which all which all of those uh, hilltop hexes were so it just gave me a lot more firepower on the hilltop and yeah those guys who didn't shoot go concealed i didn't i didn't use those enough i probably should have okay now george is setting up you're setting up your uh entry guys here we'll just fast forward through this stuff real quick as you put this stuff together now you can see you've got the half tracks coming in to try and take out the fire base which yeah makes sense uh, and there's nothing I can do about those damn things. They're, they, in squad leader, half-tracks are basically <laughs> impervious to any kind of defensive action by the enemy, unless you can get real close to them and, and jump on them. But even then, you have to get you have to do the close combat with the troops on board first. So okay. the Germans in this scenario come in either on the north or south side, but not both. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, you pick one. You pick the right or left edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it would have been wiser to pick the other one, but at at that point you still had um, still had bazookas. Why would I be uh, afraid of bazookas? Because half tracks. Well, with, half, with half tracks, it's legitimate to be afraid of bazookas. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> half tracks have a minus five modifier. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, the Stug's got a plus one modifier. The, the uh, half tracks are minus five so they just whipping out the chart real quick to kill with a bazooka against the half track on the front mm -hmm. is an eight or less mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a two or less for a stug mm -hmm. so you really don't have to worry about the stug at all but the half tracks especially unarmed half tracks if anything happens to the the uh, guys inside of them 
then uh, yes, the, the half track is going to be toast around bazookas. Um, rallies, okay, yeah. The leader who broke the first time he was shot at then dies <laughs> trying to rally. <laughs> and things started going downhill pretty quick after that. I just, uh, I really, after, after those, apart from my shooting at your hilltop uh, stuff there, um, things just went downhill fast. I could not pass a morale check to save my own life or anybody else's. And at the same time, your fire base was impervious to my fire. Yeah, you did not do a real good job at that. But then again, I was shooting at a, a longer range. I, they were all more than eight away, so... You're shooting with half of your machine guns and half of your uh, uh, half of your but so you do really even have a lot of firepower. Yep. Let's see. Okay, yeah, broke him. Okay. <clears throat> my CR upgrade, you've already taken out uh, two of my five, I think it is. Two of my five fire points. Uh, which you know, I can say, I think, I think that includes yeah, the including the guy with the radio. So <laughs> well, one is in G four, and the other one was in O five, correct? Which the ones you took out? Uh huh. Uh, yes. Four four H two and four O five. Yep, I see him there. He's broken. Yep. And your first half track is coming on the board. This is yeah the big killer with nine two on board. Uh, that's the one I really wanted to make sure I could shoot with my 50s and worked hard to try and set up a trap for him. And eventually actually got managed to do it. But here you have the half track screen, and there's really nothing I can do about these half tracks. I mean, shooting heavies at him, shooting mediums at him on the two kill table is worthless. And they're, because they, even with the minus five, I think I need a minus three to kill him. Yeah, I need a minus three to kill him on the front, even with a 50. It's snake eyes to kill them. I got a better, I got just as good a chance of killing it as I do breaking the gun. Hmm. And here come the guys that are going to try and shut down the, I guess I keep on saying southern, I guess it's the eastern edge. Which I don't understand. If the attackers are coming from the west and the reinforcements are coming from the east, then I've already got this pocket pinched off. I mean, I don't understand what's going on. The reinforcements should have come in from the same side as the or initial attackers if I'm trying to close a pocket. Otherwise, it's already closed, except for this hill, so, which is not enough for any, you know, any mass, massive movement of troops. So, and, yeah, and this, this, but this is kind of, yeah, this, these guys really kind of surprised me. They really didn't do a whole lot. I understood, the, I understood the principle, but um, I don't really think that was executed as well as it could have been. Nope, I don't think so either. I left an entire area. Uh, I believe that's um, Hex E, the road uh, along the hex sides on, on, on row E, or column E rather, completely open. and. The woods also pro provided you with enough cover to advance another uh, group of uh, infantry onto my position. Yeah, where, where you set up ended up being, you left yourself a big blind spot from basically L, but the, the whole, what would that would be, the northeast corner mm. was, what you were blind to that. Everything from, I think it was, was that house? Well, you could see that house, and I think you could see the trees behind it, so it would be K... That's, that's J, yeah, K, from K to A, you couldn't see, and I could just move in there at will. Yeah. Um, that was, uh, now if you had actually moved your, some of those, some of your guys into one of those top, you know, uh, third level entrenchments, you would have been able to see all of that, but you would have been ground up pretty good by the 50s. Mm-hmm. Um, as it was, yeah, where you put your stook, he couldn't see over there, uh, and where you put your heavy, he couldn't see anything. Let's see, 
All right, where are we going here? Defensive fire. What are we shooting at? Yeah, I'm shooting at the hilltop again with from my remaining fire bases. And got one. And another good shot. And got another one. Checking a lot of bellow assist here. All right. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> and another fire base uh, opens up on two and five, trying to go for the double break. And whoa, there you go, snake eyes. There's there was one good roll. I could I could not complain about my performance of the uh, of the fire base against your hilltop emplacements there. Yeah, that's a KIA. There was a one squad do a KIA. But he was already broken. So. <laughs> uh, so now you still have one functioning uh, fire point on the hill. Ah, but you broke the machine gun. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, this, at this point, your medium machine gun over there in 2K5 is broken, mm. which, which was unfortunate. That didn't help you very much. You're, uh, okay, you're moving fire markers. We're getting ready to rally here, I think. Broken. Oh, yeah, we're getting ready to route here, right? Uh, I pointed out to you correctly that if you had uh, rotted into that building, I would have had a considerable amount of, well, a, a fair amount of firepower on you. Yeah. Actually, it was uh, incorrect. None of your, none of your three... Uh, Half tracks over there could fire into that hex at 06. Including Wetzelberger? Inclu including Wetzelberger. It's blocked in F6. Oh, wow. Or P it's blocked in P6. It does. It, it's blocked by the other building hex. Oh, well. It didn't yeah, have so an effect either way. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I eventually ended up um, moving him into the building anyway. But yeah, that's. Mm. Uh, uh, but yeah, I was. Doing, Trying to get him out of the line of fire. As it turned out, 06 would have been would have been valid. Uh, it, just eyeballing it, it looked to both you and me that that wasn't the valid option. <laughs> so I went to N5 instead. No harm done. No harm, no foul. Okay. That was, those guys suffered enough anyway. Eventually. Okay. Then you're okay. Going to the advancing. Still moving up onto the hill. Okay. That's the end of turn one. And if you hit pause, I will get the second log out. Okay, uh, hold on one sec. Works pretty good. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're ready to uh, continue recording. Okay, all right. So, Axis, uh, okay, Axis is the Allied Rally phase, turn two. Move the counter, flipped it, and, okay. So, uh, did annoy, did I forget to blow it? Yeah, I think I forgot, I forgot to flip the counter. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you just, you moved too quick. Or no, yeah. Uh, no, anyway, I flipped it. All right, here we go. Rallies, uh, four and five. He makes it. That's one thing I did manage to do. I managed to rally leaders. Leaders tend to bounce back pretty quick, but despite the desperation morale, I could not rally a squad to save my butt, even though they don't have desperation morale. Mm. Okay, and the so Germans right now are the Germans on the level three level hexes are non-existent. Uh, yeah, we got, I think we got. Uh, let's see, that one's empty. That one's empty. Yeah, because the ones that survived routed out, right? And the ones that survived routed out, and the only one still on a three level hill is trying to uh, repair his machine gun. Right, the only one still on the hill is trying to repair his machine gun. He needs a one to fix it and rolls a two. Yep. And uh, the only hero, uh, German hero left on the board is uh, Private Heotis, who uh, <laughs> yeah. actually was supposed to be a, a, another player. Forget uh, the actual counter name. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> 80. You know, it was supposed to be, let's see, uh, Heineken. Nope. Heineken. Heineken. Heineken? Heineken. He can, he can, he can. an 8-1 now. So you should have had, you should have had an 8-1 there. You should have made yourself an 8-0. Or an 8-1. If you're just going to change the name, you should have made it an 8-1 instead of 8-0. Uh, Why do I have an 8-0? Oh, 
Oh, darn. Oh, oh there is There is Polak. Polak. No, Hool. Hool? Oh, okay. Corporal Hool cool. is an 8 and you replaced Corporal Hool. All right. Apparently. Well, yeah. Yeah, but he's... No, actually, okay. Yeah, no, you, you, sorry, you started on the board, right? Yep. Yeah, so you're Pollock. Yeah, Pollock. You, you, you replaced uh, Corporal Pollock. Right? Yeah. Yep, you got it. Uh, all right, so... Um, here I am trying to, at this point... I'm still trying to take the hill and keep the half-tracks at a distance with very little. That's why I've got the bazooka over there in the tree, is to try and keep you guys at a distance. Um, I, I should probably should have uh, taken a shot at you there. I don't know how, why I missed that. should have taken a shot at you there. I missed that from uh, 4R5 to... Or U9, pretty sure I have line of sight there. You do, but it's four hexes away, so you would need... One, two, three, four, five hexes. Yeah. Range, right? Five, yep. yeah. And it only has a range of four. Okay. So that's why I didn't shoot. Okay. Yeah, but even at, at four, uh, to hit is a very low number, isn't it? Yeah, a three and a two. A three, four... Uh, Prep and defensive fire phase, and two for advancing for, uh, fire at four. Horrible, ain't it? Yeah, well, it's. I mean, they're they're not not precision weapon. Um, let's see, was it? Yeah, that four. You needed three in the defensive fire phase with a plus two for moving. You'd be you need a one to hit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's that's not going to work. Uh, all right. Okay, back to back to scrolling through here. All right, two M four trying to rally. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, Private Yotis trying to uh, trying to rally the squad. Right? No, squad did not make it. U.S. no leader. Uh, oh yeah, this is for radios. German needs six or less to make radio contact. No. Uh, okay, removing all desperation, prep fire, okay, prep track, great, J4 to try and take out this last, uh, last guy on the hill, um, yeah, one too many, I did a few of those, um, yeah, now I'm trying to get that, I moved in my, since you moved everybody in from the south, I took my bazooka team, off of the north and tried to get that fire point back in action. Uh, the fire base uh, point there in uh, H2, is it? 2H2, mm -hmm. 4H2, 4H2, tried to get that back in action. That was just a cursed spot. I don't think we got anybody going over there, really. Uh, okay, they moved out of the line of fire. Um, yeah, I think was there was there a place there? No, it wasn't it. I'm very carefully moving these guys around to, to get to places where they could each shoot at um, one of your trucks, uh, but the other two couldn't see it. So that when either any one of them popped up to shoot at somebody, somebody else, uh, or or they they could shoot back at it, or somebody else could shoot at it. Um, Right now, you're just trying to get everybody out of the line of fire. And now we're still trying to take the hill. Got the guys moving up there. They're doing good. They're on the hill. There's nobody to shoot at them. Yep. Okay, he moves over there. Yep. They just hit the hill assault. Looks like it's going just swimmingly. I'm, I'm happy with that. And I did that. And it's doing what I intended to do. If I had left those guys down below, you would have, you could have just moved all your reinforcements up on a level two hill and blown us not out of them. But this makes them rethink that and kind of work towards keeping the hill clear and all that. So I, I think that worked out fairly well. It did cost me a lot of troops, but I think it worked out. Okay. Taking out line of sight, defensive fire, shooting at my leader again, and missing. Um, okay, shooting at Greenwood. Hey, he actually passed, he passed the morale check How about that. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm thinking, did 
It's a fire too. Yeah, you just killed my bazooka team with a KIA. Yeah, it <clears throat> um, it was the wrong thing to do. I should have um, I should have uh, fired at uh, your powerhouse, <laughs> your two troops and and uh, HMGs instead. I shouldn't have been concerned about the bazooka team whatsoever at that time. But I honestly uh, thought I didn't have LOS, and I didn't bother checking. He was, uh, yeah, it's, I left the bazooka team there, uh, hoping he'd shoot at him, because uh, I had I had both I had Greenwood ready to shoot at, uh, is that, if Steedus had fired at him, I really could have survived that easily. It, it was well, Greenwood and Vets, and, uh, was it, uh, no, Hamblin and... Uh, Wetzelberg, I'm set up to, to shoot back at them. When they shoot at the uh, grenade or the uh, bazooka team, which mm. I figured you would do because it was an easy shot, um, and you would go for the double breaks, so you'd use both teams, and I could shoot back at you with Greenwood and uh, Shaw. And, mm. and while I didn't really have much hope for Greenwood doing anything to you, I really hoped that Shaw was going to was going to blow up Wetzelberg pretty good. I want to make sure, I uh, just want to check the, the line of sight for with Shaw and if it works now. Oh, you see you got line of sight there. You don't have line of sight in anywhere else. But you did have at uh, the Wetzelberger. Yeah, nobody else is going to shoot at me. It was going to be Wetzelberger or not. So if, you, if Wetzelberger shot at me, it was going to be a bad shot for you and I could shoot back at him. If he shot at the grenade team, it's a much better shot for you, but I would still get to shoot back at you uh, from Metzelberg, or from my shot. And that, that part worked out. Yep. Uh, let's see, track rated in, this is the Allied Advancing Fire Phase, okay. Um, right, nobody moved, so they're not halved or anything. But they're shooting because you went CE in the defensive fire phase. Correct. Right. That's why they, they didn't move at all, but that's their, they held their fire to advancing fire so that I could shoot at you after your defensive fire phase. Mm. Yeah. And I missed, of course, one too many. And what really didn't have a lot of hope for that, but I had to take that shot. And this one, okay, the 250s open up on you with such, so what, 16 even? Mm hmm. Or 20, uh, rather. Or no, it's actually uh, it's within the range of 11, yeah, so it's 20. 20 even. And roll at 9, which is not a really great shot. One morale check, the leader passes, the squad doesn't. Um, which doesn't help me very much, but at least it reduces your firepower. And he's going to shoot to, let's see... Or is he shooting? Um, 2K5. Um, up on the hill? Yeah, up on the hill again, yeah. Mm. Uh, 12, 1, 12, 1, yeah, and I rolled uh, 11 and did not uh, did not do any good. That was only one firepower factor. He's my inherent firepower factor because he can't break it, right? Mm. Okay, uh, and we get to the, this is the advance phase, yeah, it's advance phase. Okay, everybody's still trying to move up on the hill. Miller's getting ready to go into the first entrenchment, with the uh, medium machine gun. Um, I think it's just a France medium machine gun. Oh, and the radio, yeah, I could have destroyed the radio, that would have been nice, but. Uh, what you had there was, uh, yep, yeah, a medium machine gun, a Panzerfaust, and a radio. Um, so we're all set up to take the first two entrenchments, uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, okay, now the Axis player turn. Repairs. Fails to repair the machine gun again. Um, mm -hmm. Then in 2K5, which is... Uh, not sure what, okay. Two M oh, that was, that was in your... Yeah, that was the... 2K5 was the machine gun, right? 2M4, um, 2M4. Oh, that's uh, that's Hyotis trying to get his squad back in, right? Mm -hmm. And that works. You got him rallied. Valor point for you mm -hmm. in the campaign game. What is that? What they call Valor point? Um, 
Okay, then the four U nine. Uh, or you know, trying to fix the squad underneath. Uh, let's see. Um, four U nine is uh, my half check. What's in burger? Four U nine, yeah. Your rally attempt would needed a squad needed a four or less, right? You rolled a six. Okay. Then uh, now you get the uh, right checking for radio contact, putting an artillery request on the board. Or no, I check for radio contact. No, nope, you check for radio contact and put it on the board on the hill. Okay, and I got my radio contact, and we're prep firing. He prep fires at Greenwood. Normal morale check. Leader passes. Squad fails. That was the story of the whole damn game. <laughs> Leaders were great in general, but the uh, the squads just could not pass morale checks and could not rally. Well, I'm sure that was the case for uh, for Greenwood. On the other end of the uh, of the front, it was the leader that uh, broke and died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was not helpful. Losing a leader turn one is not, not generally a good thing, especially when you're dispersed like that. And everybody has their zone of responsibility. So I ended up with my whole would it be functioning left flank leaderless for the whole game. Uh, all right, so we're prep firing. This is Germans prep firing. And, um, turn to axis prep valley phase. Okay, axis movement phase. Here we go. We're moving. Ah, moving. Uh, the guy from Hyotis is moving back towards his, moving back into his entrenchment. Good for him. Uh, O2, 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 O2 is over here. Uh, that's a guy that's currently back behind the entrenchments. Okay. He's on the road. Okay, there he goes. Oh yes, that was your big stack, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and the Stug. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that was it. Okay. And the bull starts moving. All right. So, so you're now moving to respond to my hill attack, which is great. And, Yes, you're still setting up to try and blockade the eastern edge there, but I think uh, I think that the defending the the end of the hill there did have to factor in your planning at least a little bit. Hmm. And you did a really great job of that. You set up you set up really well, and I really wasn't counting on all the fire I got when I moved up to the top of the hill. That was really bad. You did the same thing to me I did to you, and it, it didn't didn't work out real well for me. Hmm. Um, or CC5 is moving along. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, yeah, couldn't shoot my bazooka because the guy's dead. And, hmm. and, oops, what the heck? Why did that pop up? I guess you the scenario popped up and running. Okay. Moving along. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's. That wasn't helpful, and with no bazooka, there's nothing I can do about it. And again, this is why they're, they're just impervious. They just kind of roll around. You can do anything you want. I can't do anything about it. Then you pop up and always get the first shot, and it's uh, not not really helpful. Okay, and he's moving away to give people some room to rally. Yeah. Um, See, I think. No, he's not moving to right again. Is he? Yeah, he broke. Okay. Yep. Uh, and let's see. We're checking the list. Defensive fire at, uh, right? Three morale check. Leader needs a six or less and failed. So leader broke. The squad failed and made it. So, so at this uh, point I was despondent because my my half track attack didn't go as well as I planned it, and I instead of firing on your on your heavies, I fired on the bazooka, which was wrong in my opinion. But anything could have happened. 
Well, taking out the bazooka allowed you to make your move to the uh, to the building, and you, you wouldn't have been able to move um, your Estetis over to 07 if uh, if you had gone through there, because it would have shot at you in T7 or T8 or even maybe P7 yeah. and got the side shot and probably killed you if you hadn't taken that uh, if you hadn't taken that bazooka up first. Hmm. Um, okay, we got, oh, this one, page it down, right? Okay. Uh, we don't need that anymore, so we'll, actually, I didn't create that, did I? You know, anyway, um, page down. We have, um, all right, the guy with the broken, the bro, the half drag, well, the brokey's in it. Okay, no, defensive fire. Um, let's see, 9, 2 plus 2. I didn't put the markers down. I'm not sure what we got here. Check LOS from 4W1. 4W1, okay, to, that's where I have the, uh, okay, to, oh, this, I'm just trying to keep somebody DM. That's right. I just shot at uh, the half track in what, Z8? Mm hmm. Yeah, I just shot at the half track at Z8. Didn't have any chance of doing anything to it, but it kept you uh, kept you DM, right? Gotta keep you DM. As long as I keep you DM, I had a shot of keeping you out of the keeping you out of the war. But uh, as I ran out of guys, I just couldn't shoot at you anymore, and you rallied. You started wreaking havoc, havoc again. Uh, all right. You're checking OS 4J4, 2K5, 4J4. So we're backward. Now we're checking on, uh, yeah, this is trying to shoot at, uh, trying to take out that last uh, fire point on the hill. And I got a one morale check, and he failed it. So now we're going to shoot at him again. Uh, and we hit him again, and he got a one morale check. And let's see. I shooting at here for X seven. X seven that was that wasn't at your Ooh, that's at your half track again. Yeah. That's at your half track. Yeah, got one route check. They lead her past the uh, or leader past and the try and the squad failed, so now the squad's gone. That's a good thing. I mean it would have been better if I could have killed the leader, but hey, if I had Taking away his firepower is almost as good. That artillery just <laughs> really didn't do a lot of damage to me, though, so it would have been good to take that later on. Okay. Um, route phase. Your routes out of the entrenchment again. He advances over to here. They're all lining up to you know, shoot the heck out of the top of the hill. I didn't really pay attention to that. I kept on focus. On, focusing on hill, on my squads down there at the bottom, I really wasn't paying attention to what was going to happen when I moved them up on top, and they gave me an unpleasant surprise up there. Okay, we should be coming to the end of the log here pretty soon. Okay. Um, German accuracy. Oh, this is German close combat phase. Right, we're checking for your accuracy, and uh, you missed. How about that? That's a I, I I had forgotten about that. Okay, you missed one three um, one two three. That's out of your line of sight, so it goes away, and that's the end of the log file. Okay. Right, hold on. We'll pause and return in a second. All right, we're back. Are you in the game room? Okay. Nope. Right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hold on. As I was say, I didn't see you on the network connection there. Or the uh, host connection, I should say. All there right, you go. we're there now. Okay. So we have um, Allied Rally Phase Turn 3. We move the counter, flip it. And Rally Phase, let's see, 4T3. Um, right, yeah, I'm trying to rally. <laughs> the squad doesn't work, yeah. Squads just 
took I could not rally squads. And I don't think I ever, did I I don't think I rallied big uh maybe eventually I did. No. I maybe I did. one. If I, recall. I think I rallied him and then you killed him with your artillery or something like that. Or mm. yeah. Mm. Um okay. Yeah, you keep on removing your DMs. Okay. Um U.S. maintained radio contact. Yeah, I had no problem with radio contact, but then neither did you. So. Mm -hmm. um, checking LOS from 4M1 to 4X7. Uh, 4M1. Oh, You're for our fire base. You're, uh... Yeah, I'm looking for my 50s. My 50s are going to shoot at you. I, I think actually I'm firing at your, uh, let's see, oh, inherent only. Ah, that's right. I'm just trying to make you DM. I wasn't using the... Uh, Machine guns, because again, they have. Uh, I need a on the front of your half track. I need snake eyes to kill you, and I break it with a twelve. So, but just as much of a chance of killing you as I do breaking the machine guns. So I'm just using my inherent to uh, make you DM again. This is prep fire phase, right? Prep fire, yeah. Okay, the heavies would have fired a full firepower. Let's take a look at that for one second. All right, the heavies would have been a sixteen. Plus the two squads would have been able to fire. That's another 12. We would have brought up to, brought everything up to 20, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 20 firepower factors. And, and you what? rolled a four, plus two. And what? At the half track in X, in yeah, X I, the seven. The infantry fire doesn't do anything to half tracks. I can kill a truck that way, but I can't kill a half track that way. And you're buttoned up. You're not crew exposed, so I can't shoot at the. I can't shoot at your passengers. Okay. It's a metal box. I can't do anything to it unless I shoot to kill on the on the two kill table with the heavy machine gun. Okay, so on the heavy. Oh yeah, if you'd still been crew exposed, yeah, I would have let you have it with everything I had and tried to kill you off, but you were buttoned up. Okay, so how would it work if you were firing with the heavy machine guns towards the half track itself? I would. Uh, they they hit automatically, and you go to the two kill table. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, I've got fifty cal. So you look at the second uh, the second data column, fifty cal, mm -hmm. twenty millimeter. You would have missed by and, one. Or... And I needed a minus three, minus three to kill, because mm -hmm. uh, it's on the front. You have mm -hmm. a minus five, so I need snake eyes to kill you. That's right. You you nearly had it. I need snake eyes to kill you, and I would have had two rolls to get those snake eyes. But, like I said, the chances of me breaking the machine gun are just the same as me killing your truck. There's okay. no sense. I didn't want to take that risk because the whole that whole side of the board depended on those guys being in action and making you stay away. Yeah, well, you came close, right? You came close. With a uh, four, you came close. Um, oh, well. Yeah, that close, close Not enough, only eh? counts with... Horseshoes and hand grenades, not even that, it's not even horseshoes <laughs> in this game. Um, all right, now at 2 w this is uh, firing, uh, this is the prep fire. Here I am, my, my guys in the assault team, they're, the base team for my hill assault team are trying to take care of this one little squad down here and say, hey, there you go, that's a good prep fire because it's got, I've got 12 factors. The plus 12 plus one, that's a good bet, let's do that. Nothing. So I got, uh, I roll a six, get a seven. That's what a uh, normal morale check or one morale check. And I passed it. Roll a six and pass it. And that's it. So I'm stuck there for no effect. And, and just, I really did. I had to do, I really had to pile on the firepower to get anything effective done. And this is a trivial matter. And uh, when I set up those three squads there, I put most of my firepower on the right. Because the your six 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 was in the woods, and the other two squads were out in the open, so I would have mm -hmm. I would have uh, been able to to score a hit on the four table without any modif modifiers. It would be a six or less. Yeah. The eight would have needed a seven or less. Hmm. Anyway, trivial, like I said before. Now we're moving up. Uh, still okay. Miller moves off to the side. K 
K moves in, takes an entrenchment, and moves up to get ready to advance into the other entrenchment. <clears throat> uh, four and five. Four and five is. Uh, where's N five? Uh, I can't have it. Uh, I don't have anybody in five. The heck, I don't know. Okay. Oh. Oh, four at five, right? This is my other fire base trying to get away from the half track. And what he wants, what I really wanted to do was recover my bazooka so that I could chase off that uh, half track. That, that didn't work out real well. Okay, moving up another bazooka, trying, trying to hunt the half track. Trying to see if we can't put a round into this guy because that's the only chance I got against the half track is with the uh, with the bazookas. Hmm. Greenwood steps off of his broken unit so that when you shoot the broken unit, try and double break him. At least Greenwood's not there to add to the calamity. Uh, actually, no. So that you wouldn't break him in your defensive fire. I wanted to make sure that he was still whole. He's moving out of line of fire. I'll move him back in the advanced phase so I can rally the guy. Uh, okay, entrenchment is oh man, yeah. Just checking, you know, checking the gyro modifiers for entrenchments. Uh, okay, this is another fire base shot to Z1. To Z1. Uh, I'm missing this. Where's 2Z1? 2Z1. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. George, let's see, this is defensive fire, so this is you shooting at me. Right. Oh, that was, yeah. This is the guys I just shot at to no effect with two squads. Uh, shoot back at me with one squad and broke, what, one or both of them? Broke. Probably not. Maybe oh, yeah, that's one. right. That's right, right here. Yeah. That's right. Broke both of them. No, broke one of them. Yeah, he shot and broke one of them and basically... Makes him a goner at this point, and it, that that ties down that whole flank. Um, and then this is where you start chewing up. Yeah, you got Z one, right? That's okay. Z one is shooting at my entrenchment, so you are going to proceed to do the same thing to me on the top of the hill that I did to you on the top of the hill. That's how it a usually plus, works out with us, uh, Bob. <laughs> eight, plus, eight plus two, you roll a five. It's a one morale check. He fails it, of course. Yeah, and then you shoot him again. Get it again. Normal morale check. He fails that, and he's dead. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the way it went for my troops. My squads could not pass morale checks, and that was it. Um, See, so it's still defensive fire phase. Yeah, I think we um, Z8 was was it? Yeah, my... you you were trying to shoot at Greenwood, I think. Yeah, yeah. and you don't have line of sight to him. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, route phase. Yeah, we had to move back there. And advance phase. Uh, he advances into the entrenchment. Greenwood advances back onto the Brokey. They advance onto their bazooka. Uh, the bazooka advances onto the medium machine gun so that he could try and take on the half track. That was turned out to be a very bad move. And see axis player turn axis rally phase 2l3 uh this is uh, trying to get yeah this is this is he's trying to put the guy back into the entrenchments again and he <laughs> the guys let's see uh it says no nope. <laughs> nope i'm not going back in the entrenchments sorry So at this point, we both lost. Uh, we both lost a unit, such as it is, to uh, twelve on a rally, which is which it doesn't happen all that often. But here we've had it twice in the game. Kind of weird. Seven thirty. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Um, all right. And rallies. Yeah. Okay, rally. Let's see. We're still rallying. Yep. Yeah. But as soon as you, no, actually, yeah, he was DM, and he rallied him anyway. Five, nine, yep. uh, okay. And eight or less. Yeah, they they were no longer 
DM because I moved that guy away I shouldn't have. I'd left him there to keep you DM. Uh, it might have helped out a lot, but I didn't. Oh, well. <clears throat> okay, radio, we're establishing radio, snake eyes. Yeah, you got a really good signal. Um, let's see, prep fire phase. Let's see, prep fire, okay. Try prep created in 2H, so 2J1. Uh, oh, there it is, right. So you're going to be shooting at the entrenchment again, right? Uh, or not. Oh, so you move it up to the heavy machine gun, right? Move it up to the heavy machine gun because I don't think, uh, let's see, that was level two, level three. No, you, you might have had line of sight there. I don't know. Oh, no, I think it clipped the trees. That's right. Mm. I think that shot clipped the trees in uh, M4. Okay. And it was blocked. That's why I didn't take that shot. Right. So you moved it up to the heavy machine guns that are in the trees in M4. <laughs> with a 12 plus one roll of four which is not going to help yeah of course not I rolled a five i mean it's i tried he tried but not quite their morale is so damn low because they, they break this but they're supposed to bounce right back that's the whole point they don't mm -hmm. have dm so they're supposed to break and bounce right back but no mine broke easy and never bounced back <clears throat> and the stoog is going to shoot at him no Remember, that's where you reminded me that I have to move my, pivot my, my, my uh, support. Uh, that's right, you, right. Yeah. You, can't, you can't pivot and shoot in the prep fire phase, right? Right, exactly. right. You pivot in the movement, movement phase and, and fire in the advanced fire, advanced right. fire phase. Right, right. And you're shooting at him from the bottom of the hill again. Okay, you missed one. Wow, that doesn't happen very often. Then... Rip fire from the half track to my bazooka team up in the top of the board there. Yeah, I mean, that was not, uh, yeah, of course, of course he missed this morale check. Nobody, nobody made morale checks. This is why I'm getting really, I was getting really depressed. I'm about ready to quit this game at this point. I should have let you quit. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I can't, I can't pass a morale check. I can't, I can't hit anything because you're you're impervious to all of my fire uh and when i do get a shot off at you you pass the morale check uh like down below with the uh, w7 or w6 there i mean just you know, the only thing i could take care of was the top of the hill that, that, that was successful everything else is just failing miserably and you're rolling around okay um Let's see, and I'm shooting at, uh, yes, um, you were still CE, so when you started, uh, let's see, um, or were you CE? Is there a guy in there who's broken? No, there's nobody in there broken. Yeah. So you must, yeah, you were still CE for some reason. Yep. So when you started spending movement points in that hex, I fired at you from my medium machine gun trying to get trying to do some damage to you before you got out of my line mm. of sight. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, so the six, why is it six? Oh, yeah, six, because the squad's halved, right? It's only a medium machine gun, six plus one, yeah. So, of course, I roll a f ten. Mm. Worthless. Well, I was lucky in that one. They're not doing, my. that's just my, that team not doing their job, they ended up paying for it. Don't do your job, you pay for it. And at that time, I don't think Butzenberger had even a squad to fire back at you. They could have fired at you with, what, one firepower fire power factor? Yeah, the Wetzenberg could have fired at me one with a minus two, sure. And mm -hmm. he would have needed a five or less, oh no, he would have needed, yeah, a five or less to hit you, but what good would that do? Um, let's see, let's fire... Or your other half track taken off, um, and this is now I'm shooting at him from. Oh, yeah, my uh, you're not. Uh, see, yeah, this is you're still buttoned up, but you're starting to leave. You turn around and show me your ass. So I'm shooting at your rear facing. So I figure, okay, that might be 
that might be worth a shot with the heavy machine guns because at that point with our, on your rear with a 50 cal mm -hmm. i need a minus one or less so with the minus five it needs a, it needs a four or less four or less to kill you which is much better odds than a 12 so it's worth it's worth risking the break to take the shots we'll take the two shots with the heavies and see if we can kill this fucking half track and of course not not even close <clears throat> I was just, lucky. Uh, I I got away with a stupidity on that one. I was pure luck on that one. Yeah, if you'd uh, just moved forward one hex into like X six or something like that out of my line of sight, and then spun around and got out of there, you should, I wouldn't have even got a shot off of him. But as it was, and I just wasted a defensive fire with a shot that had a very small chance of success, and of course. Okay. Didn't work. <sighs> Best laid plans in my son. Mm. And this is your stude moving into his hide site where he manages to blind himself to a quarter of the board. <laughs> um, and as as your uh, heavy fire, your heavy machine gun team is now blind to that entire corner of the board too. Which well. is nice. I was my biggest worry were your reinforcements <laughs> for some right, reason. Right, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Both your both your Stug and your heavy machine gun team at this point mm -hmm. uh, cannot see the major axis I used for bringing in my reinforcements three to uh, two turns later, three turns later, two turns yeah. later. Yeah. Uh, you're, yeah, because you're you're blind. The, your your two big hitters right over there are all blind to everything. Um, past. K at this point. And, you know, all your all your heavy um, machine gun team can see at this point is Hyotis. <laughs> That's about it. Um, it's uh, yeah. That's about it. Uh, um, yeah, I should have I should have used the I should have entered the. Uh, my reinforcements on the north edge and whittled you down with a, a right hook. <laughs> but um, see, I don't when, know if you, if you had brought him in, yeah, on the north edge, you would have taken away that corner. But I don't think at this point you realized that you were blind to that corner. Hmm. I shouldn't have been right, concerned. You got your, yeah, you got your guy down here in uh, J two J one with the with the uh, Panzer Faust there, you know, blocking off the road and all that. You're sort of, it looks it looks like a fairly reasonable setup, but there there are gaps in it. Yeah, big ones. Um, okay, two U one. This is axis movement phase. All right, moving into the house, moving in, you know, just trying to set up by the road again to make sure I can't enter uh, unopposed. Right. Yep. And he cruises over to here. Why he would? Oh, I, that's right. You sent him over there to try and kill my broke units that didn't have a leader near him. And so you're just going to kind of wander across that undefended edge of the board there and kill my broke units, which you know, very bloodthirsty of you. And Thank you so much. Up, <laughs> he ended up paying for that. <laughs> so I don't think he ended up getting anybody. No. Um. Okay, defensive fire. Um, let's see, T3 to CC7. Uh, right, he's firing at your half track over here. Let's see, why am I firing at your half track over there? It's not like I can do anything to him. Oh, because he's still CE for some mm -hmm. reason. See, yeah, he's, you're using the weird CE counter, but yeah, okay. See, that's just one, another one of the reasons why I use that, uh, the white CE counter. It's it just, it's easier to track for mm -hmm. both for both players. Uh, two plus one, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and a roll of 11, almost broke the machine gun, no effect. I mean, I, that's, even when I could get a shot at your half tracks, it didn't do me any good. There's another one. Yeah. Oh, wow, I don't know why I get this. My throat dried out all of a sudden. I think I need some beer. Uh, mm. Advancing far face on the. 2x3 2X, to 205. 2x3. This is down in uh, 
Yeah. And we're X3. broken squad in the entrenchment. X3, okay, yeah, two, 205, yeah, you're shooting at him again, right? Might yeah. as well, sure. Can't break inherent firepower. Um, in fact, advancing fire at 2P5, shooting at him again. And no effect, so we remove all fire markers and move on to the route phase. Uh, let's see, and somebody couldn't round? Yep, uh, the squad in the entrenchment. No, oh, the, the squad in the entrenchment couldn't route. Yeah, he was next to the stew, and none of that, I couldn't, uh, see, I couldn't go one direction because he'd be in front of the stew. That was open, yeah. Right, there was no place for him to route to. And he couldn't stay there. Not only be able to stay in the entrenchment, but uh, he was adjacent. So, yeah, he couldn't stay there. So, yeah. he'd lose him for failure to route, right? Correct. Um, and you're in your advanced phase where you put your gantt trees there. Of course, your accuracy is one. That's where I really could have used your used four and one three or something like that. Just bringing that one down. Uh, on target really screwed things up for me. Uh, and that's the end of this log file. And the next one is uh, turn four and five, I believe. Okay, hold on. Not four. Okay, we're recording. Okay, good. And now we're here in page 10. Okay, turn four, allied rally phase, move the counter. All I get this turn is uh, artillery. Ooh -hoo. And I get 100 millimeter. That's not bad. It's a mediocre roll. Not bad. How many Empire missions do I get? One, of course. <laughs> you weren't was rolling going right. the ones when you needed them. <laughs> nothing. Nothing is going right for me in this game right now. It's just nothing. And even where I was successful, I got shot. <laughs> so and this is this is all falling apart here. And yeah, I'm just about ready to just call this whole call this game an ignominious loss and get the hell out. Um, if there were a path, I probably I, I could, could just consider trying to withdraw these guys because I still had that well, option here. Let's not forget, in, in terms of the victory conditions, you're winning because I have more KIAs than you do. Um, yeah, at this point, let's see. Um, uh, looking at I the, have, you've yeah. killed three of my squads because I don't think leaders count. I think it's just squads, right? Uh, I was counting the, the leaders as well. Uh, but it, you know, okay, okay. I've killed three. You've killed three of my squads, and I have killed one, two, three, four, five, six of your squads. Two to one odds. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. And we're rallies. I need seven or less, and I roll a nine. Of course. And that was in. Was that T three? Yeah. It's that yeah. same. That same squad just refused. To rally. Mm -hmm. and, um, okay, make my radio contact. Germans uh, make their radio contact. I put my artillery request where I can see it <laughs> on his half track. Uh, see, it probably won't do any good, but you never know. It's 100 millimeter, it might have a shot. Um, that's where I was see, saying, why did I put those two units side by side with one another? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was interesting, and it would have, would have been nice if I could have brought that down and had a shot at you, but oh no, well. Uh, yeah, there's let's see, so prep fire phase, no prep fire. I think everybody's uh, moving or hiding. Uh, movement phase, okay. Miller is moving over to try and rally the. Brokey over there. Jay's gonna sit sit still and hide. Greenwood gets off of the Brokey to hide out of line of sight again, a line of fire again. Uh, I'm I'm skulking with the fifties. Uh, uh, I believe. Let's see, uh, yeah, I just moved to M1 to M2. Right, they're skulking, getting away from the stew. Um, let's see, and then it's defensive fire phase, and you thought you might have line of sight to that hex, I don't think you do, no, 
Ja. And uh, I love it. Five to four. Two P five to four M P two P five. That's uh, over here. Okay. Oh, that's your Stug. Mm -hmm. Okay, your Stug shooting at the uh, trying to shoot at the fifty. Um, I don't know if you had. Don't I don't think you've had. Do you have line sight there? I don't think so. I don't think no. so. Uh, then your FFE comes in. Um, let's see, FFE at 4R5, 12 plus 1, rolls a 12. Yay! <laughs> Broke your FFE. And uh, so that guy, so the, uh, it looks like for one brief shining moment, that guy is going to survive. I think Thompson really, really wanted to survive that for this brief and fleeting okay. and okay he's shooting at the brokey and would have made him dm again but he's not there's no dm for us now we have your invulnerable half tracks that i can't do anything about decide to open up at four plus zero the 12 plus one didn't work so let's take a four plus zero shot right get a one morale check which both fail <laughs> Actually, no, squad pass. How about that? Yeah, squad pass. But then he failed the leader, lost morale check, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. So your, your four plus zero breaks everything in the hex. Yeah, it's... <clears throat> Damn, was, this is, again, this is where I just think, okay, this is this is ridiculous. There's no point in continuing this thing because nothing is working out, right? No, yeah. the... Uh, they run away, and I guess one of your uh, one of your commenters said that right there when I routed out of that uh, hex, we did that wrong. He should have been rolled against. No, he was talking uh -huh. about um, uh, the fire uh, for effect on T two. Um, I think. Well, I mean the same thing would have applied here. You have your, your fire for effect came down in the. Uh, uh, was it prep fire or defense defensive whatever? fire? Uh, this is route phase, so it was defensive fire phase. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You're not defensive fire phase and and landed. Now, theoretically, if it were still in effect, like this were a defensive fire, if, if uh, this were defensive fire phase after movement phase and I had moved through uh, 05, like I did, then you would have gotten another roll at him in 05 with the minus two for moving in the open. Mm -hmm. But that's the, that the there's no residual fire it landed in the defensive fire phase it would affect the movement phase which happened prior to the defensive fire phase mm -hmm. but it doesn't reach forward to the route phase yeah uh okay not not like asl where you can have residual fire um uh, pitch that okay that's the end of the route phase advance phase greenwood goes back to his brokey the 50s unskulk, uh, the leader, uh, yeah, the leader completely forgot to advance, um, I don't know why, but, oh, anyway, and he moved, but the other people around him didn't, so they're all getting concealed, the guy under Greenwood concealed, and now I'm playing around with concealment markers, okay, now it's Axis player turn, we're in the rally phase, Yes, leader rallies um, with the snake eyes. How about that? Hmm. Um, let's see. Um, let's see, well, somebody rallied, but it wasn't him. Uh, let's see, in 4T and uh, T3. Oh, that was uh, huh. yeah, that was that was Greenwood actually getting his. Uh, Squad to rally down there, right? Mm -hmm. You finally got that guy to rally, right? If you want, uh, we can just sum up the rest of the game. So, um, well, we can. This we'll flip through this real quick. Uh, you got. Oh, wait a minute. See, that was that was the important one right there. Was the okay? Here's the FFE that broke those squads, right? Yep. This is the one you want to talk about. Yep, sure. FFE that broke those squads. Mm -hmm. Now that's in the prep fire phase. It appears okay, so. now we'll come up to 
Prefer da, 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 climb. Okay, and let's see. We want to get to the route base. Here we go. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, here you have you move into the fire for effect theoretically, right? Mm -hmm. Dismount from your truck and all that. Mm -hmm. Right. But still, that FFE was in the prep fire phase. It does not reach forward to the movement phase. Mm -hmm. So there is no reason to roll for against the half track or against the squads as they get out of the half track. There is no reason to do that because it's done. It's over. Mm -hmm. the, the FFE was done in the prep fire phase. Mm -hmm. Then later, similarly, when we're done with the movement phase, uh, and we get to let's see, come on, uh, defensive fire. So we should be coming up to uh, okay, advancing fire, and you take a shot at him and don't kill him. <clears throat> and it's route phase, and he goes. Let's see, he's going to route right through the shell holes because it's not open terrain, so he can do that. Mm -hmm. It's not covered by you. Uh, U3 or by uh, Wetzelberger because it's uh, it's not open terrain and he goes into the house but see again they don't roll for that because well A because that FFE doesn't go into S3 <laughs> mm -hmm. that's that the uh, that there would even if the FFE were residual fire when he routed to S3 um, it's beyond its zone of, it's, it's the zone of effect so S3 is clear. He must have been talking about when he talked about we should have uh, rolled on the route that had to be from uh, R5. Mm -hmm. This for routing from T3 would, would never have been affected by the FFE because it's not in that X. Mm -hmm. If it had been in T3, then yeah, you'd have an argument. Maybe say it should have been affected S S3. It's still, the timing would have been off. But even if this were uh, defensive fire and that were movement, S3 wouldn't have been a target because it's out of the range of effect. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, and that's the end of that log file. Okay, so uh, in the uh, following uh, turn I decided to resign the game because you were able to flank me with the reinforcements on uh, uh, both edges of board 2 and my fire against the, uh, my fire, all my fire that I conducted against my uh, against the your heavy machine guns was ineffective, largely ineffective. I only managed to kill one squad, right? Right. So that was that. Overall, it was a great game. I would have played it differently if uh, if I uh, if I if I had a greater hindsight. But it was the first time I've ever played this game as, as well in my whole entire lifetime. <laughs> so that's a privilege in itself. <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I haven't played or you know, I haven't played a lot of these scenarios. We skipped a lot of these scenarios and made our own back in the day. So, yeah, these are um, a lot of these are first times for me too. Yeah, and it looks like uh, there may be good reason why we skipped them. <laughs> yeah, well, in this one here, um, I don't know. I don't think this is a really well balanced scenario. I think it might be fun to go back and try and fix some of these. Like this could be a fun scenario, but it would need some adjustment. The, the beginning is just brutal for the Americans, they, but then the Americans get to come back and laugh and say, okay, look at all this stuff I'm throwing at you. Mm. Um, but it could, be, it could be a little bit better. The next one is the one that sounds really stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. And you would highly recommend that people at least get the opportunity to play it. Sure, you absolutely yeah? have, to, right. you have, to, have to play it. And you have to play it from both sides, which we intend to do too, right? Sure, sure. All right then. Uh, with that, I think I, should, I will bid you good night so you can get to your dinner, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, sure. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, you should before you should before you close the whole thing up. What you might want to do is pause and at least bring up a picture of of the final dispositions so that people can see what what you mean by flanked on both sides. Because okay, um, it, we we talked about it. We allude to it, and we're, here we're talking about it, you were blind to this and blind to that. But to see. You know, how things kind of moved out there, I think, might be instructive. Okay, let's let's uh, pause. Okay. All right, Bob, we're back uh, recording the final dispositions. Hello, Bob? <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Um, I moved, uh, I basically just ran right up the, uh, the uh, road here in the e, e column over the hill and up to, I've got a, I've, 
took a half track and brought a leader over to that beleaguered uh, squad that was shot. The squads are getting shot up on the uh, right side of board four there, uh, just to try and rally them and get them back into the fight. Um, I, at this point, the goal for me was to get uh, Priest onto the second level knob there at, uh, I think it's what, F7? Yeah, 2F7. And from there, I was going to start plinking his uh, half tracks like squirrels. Mm. Then uh, I put the, the second priest over here in uh, 2I6 so that when uh, your stug tried to move over to shoot at the priest, as soon as he came in line of sight, both, the, both of the priests would be able to engage the stug. Uh, but until then, the stug couldn't touch either one of them. Uh, and again, the, the heavy machine gun, it was in the trees. He couldn't see anything. Eventually, he moved down. Still couldn't see anything. Uh, his, uh, your heavy machine gun. So, um, yeah, I had, I had used my mediums to take out your two uh, border posts down here along the, the uh, what was that, eastern edge of the board. I was gradually working my way across behind the hill here. Um, and I'd already taken Hill 538 over there and worked my way across. So, yeah, you're pretty much surrounded, and I was just going to try and get you between my hands there and just clap them together. Yeah, um, my whole plan of trying to um, prevent your, uh, your advance onto the board failed miserably. Um, I, I had managed initially to conceal those, uh, those units that were guarding the border, so to speak, and I did fire at you ineffectively. Um, your leader with the two uh, heavy machine guns only, uh, only managed to, um, uh, to kill one uh, squad, and I had uh, used up all my artillery requests, so Wetzenberger now with the radio was completely useless. Uh, trying to take out Thornton failed, and that was eight firepower factors, I believe, against uh, six. And I lost that uh, squad as well to a uh, double morale check. As you can see, uh, yeah, I think your your border post down there uh, that you fight, you actually took the first shot. You fired at me uh, in was it your prep fire or something along those lines? Mm -hmm. uh, you should have left them concealed. You should not have. I don't think you should have taken the first shot. As long as you're going to go through the problem of uh, the trouble of getting them concealed, the whole point is for me to shoot at you when you're concealed. Mm. And if you if you would be if you pop up and you take the first shot and become unconcealed, then all the stuff comes down at you at full firepower. Yeah, you still would have had eight firepower factors, and and uh, with a nine minus two leader, uh, it would have been e even. You only would have needed a eight or less to hit me. Uh, true, but I wasn't rolling that well. And the thing is, you're, well, you're in the, you're the trees. I was shooting with, uh, let's see, my first shot would have been uh, with the, from here would have been, yeah, 16 halved is 8, the plus 1. So it is 7 or less, and I was not rolling that well. I might have, I might easily not have made that. But even if I did, the, you know, the second shot still comes in at, uh, uh, it, it, it's, it was also, it was a, uh, eight or something like that because it was farther away. It was out of the squad range, mm. but, uh, 16, uh, still you would have been, my first shot at you would have been an eight. Maybe I'm getting a morale check, uh, as opposed to shooting at you 16 at plus one, my first shot at you and, and, and uh, almost, you know, pretty much. I'm not guaranteed because I wasn't rolling that well, but chances are good that I'm going to get at least a one morale check, maybe a two morale check, mm. as opposed to just a normal or a one. And uh, even even your sevens had troubles with two morale checks. <laughs> the one morale checks you didn't see that problems with. The normal morale checks you didn't see that problems with. But the one, but the twos you had problems with. Uh, and of course, mine didn't pass even normal morale checks. Well, I'm looking forward to playing the scenarios the Americans the next time around. Yeah, I, I think it'll be fun, and I will definitely use the uh, the lessons I learned from what you did to me on board four uh, <laughs> to, uh, to to take those to heart. Yeah. All right then. So I think we can call it a night and. Uh,
probably start uh, the next scenario on Monday. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, it, that's, it's a real complicated one to set up because of all the bizarre special rules. But uh, yeah, uh, I will. Uh, I will definitely work on that tonight and tomorrow and see if I can't get that set up for you. Okay. Good night, Bob. Good Thanks night, for George. playing. Great game. Hey, thanks. You too. Well played. Bye bye.